Hi. Hi. So is anybody going on any holidays or that anytime soon? Because I'm not, and here's why. See, last year I decided to go away with a bunch of my friends, right? But I have a job. That's right. Fuck your recession. Yes. So like. I have different holidays to lots of my friends, right? But I thought, that's okay, I can go on a plane a different day than them. Like, I can handle that. I was wrong, right? The day the flight came, I slept in, but not enough so I missed it, just enough so I was rushing. Not the nationality. I didn't sleep long enough to change nationalities. I don't know how that would happen, but it didn't. Like, but, so, like, the day the flight came, I like rushed to the airport and like got through the gate just as an easy jet flight was being called. That's right, I'm a cheap cunt, but don't worry about it. Right? And like got through the gate and sat in the plane just as the captain was doing his It's cold where you are, it's warm where you're going, you're gonna fly really, really high in the sky. But but I didn't need really to hear that bit, so I just plugged in my iPod, do you know what I mean? So, but the air hostess, she gets really pissy about that, doesn't she? So she came up and she was like, UNPLUG YOURSELF! It's like, alright, hello, calm down. So, I did, right? And the woman next to me turned round and she went, Just think, in an hour or so, we'll be in Berlin. And I looked at her and I said, I'm not going to Berlin. <laughs> And she said, hey, where are you going? I said, I'm going to Marbella. And she said, no, on this plane you're not. And I thought, fuck! I'm on the wrong plane. But I didn't instantly think that was a big deal, right? Because I've got on the wrong bus before. <laughs> and you just say to them, and they let you off, and it's fine. So I tapped their hostess, right? Because anything more is assault. And I said to them, And she looked at me like I'd kicked a cat in the face. She went, Oh my god, you need to get off this plane. I was like, Yeah, I know. So they took me off and asked me all sorts of questions because they thought I was a terrorist, which I'm not, right? And one of the questions was, Do you have any bombs? Now, see where I'm from? A bomb's a two litre bottle of cider. So I thought I'd try and make some light of the situation, right? So I said, no, I had that last night. <laughs> they don't like that in airports. So they whisked me off to this special room. And I don't know if anyone in here has ever fallen victim to this scissor twist search movement. But it is like being sodomised by an angry Dutchman. It is not a pleasant experience. And I thought there was only going to be one way I could get through this ordeal, and that was to let my brain trick my arse into thinking it was having a nice time. <laughs> so I leaned over that table in that unforgiving white room and let the airport personnel go boldly where no man, well, one or two, has gone before. And as he entered, I let out an, ah! They don't like that in airports. But like, eventually they let me out, but not before stopping for some anusol, because I'm no daft, I knew that shit was going to sting, do you know what I mean? <laughs> and I got reunited with my friends, and we decided to go for a night out to get pissed to forget the airport sodomy ordeal. But like, I forgot one important fact, and that is that my friends are dicks, right? So like, when we go out, we like to play theirs. So we're going out and we were drinking and dancing and I was beginning to forget the horror that had plagued my life earlier that day. And this really good looking guy came up to me in the club and I thought, oh, this is fine, this is getting better now. And then he looked at me and we couldn't really hear each other because of the music. So he said, do you want to go upstairs and talk? And I said, yeah, I do. So I tapped my friend, I said, I'm going to go talk to him. And she looked at me with menace and went, <laughs> I dare you to be Welsh. And I said, no, I'm not doing that. I've had a hard enough day. She went, oh, but I dare you. You can't refuse a dare. So I went, right, fine. So I went out and I said, all right, I'm Sarah, I'm from Swansea. Where are you from? You go, Swansea! <laughs> Where are you? <laughs> I've never been to fucking Swansea, right? This was going to be a problem. He goes, where about in Swansea are you from? I goes, oh, you know, the north side of the city. He goes, really? You don't sound like you're from the north. What about? He goes, um, do you know where Max and Spence is? He said, yeah. I was like, oh, up there. But he proceeded to quote.
quiz me more about Swansea and I thought, oh, fucking hell, I'm going to have to come clean to him. So I said, um, ah, that Swansea thing, that's a wee joke. Ah. But he looked at me all confused and went, Ray how the fuck do you know where Marks and Spencer's is at? <laughs> but yeah, like, when you're an idiot, it's not just for, like, holidays and stuff, it, like, plagues your everyday life. Like, the other day I went shopping in the town and I decided to take my car, because, like, public transport and I don't get on very well. You remember the plane situation, it's fucking awful. So, like, like, I took my car and the week before I just spent £800 to get my central logging fixed. And I know I was boasting about having a job, but it's not a very good one. So, like, I don't make a lot of money. Like, and, like, so I parked my car and went about my business. Not in a drug dealer way, I just went to Topshop. And, like, came back and I was standing there, like, trying to get the door open and it wouldn't work. And I was getting more and more upset, like, because I'm a bit of a drama queen. And I was like, no, nah, for God's sake. So I phoned my boyfriend and I was like, you're going to have to come and get me because I can't get this bloody door open. Oh my God, my life's shit. And he was just like, I can't. You're just going to have to arrange a toll. And I was like, what? I don't know how to do that. What the fuck are you talking about? And he was like, well, I can't come and get you. So I thought, fucking hell, I, I can do this. I definitely can. So I did. I arranged a toll from this car, from town to my house. And I arrived back home and expected like a ticker tape parade of love and joy from this momentous task that I had achieved. But instead he came running out the house in his boxers and went, that's not your fucking car! <laughs> you fuck! I've accidentally stolen a car! <laughs> Police stations don't like that. When you phone them to say, in my adult life I've become all too familiar with the scissor twist search movement and it's not fun. But like, you know how I was saying like I'm an idiot and my friends are dicks too? Well like, when we go out and we get really drunk sometimes, but sometimes what that means is you wake up and you don't remember what's happened. So that happened recently and I woke up with like, and I could smell what was like what's-its that turned out to be sick and pish and tenant super and I thought, bloody hell, is that me? And I looked down and I thought, no, it's definitely not, that's all right, it's definitely not me, so we're, that's a good thing, if anything. And, but I thought, that's someone, and if it's not me, then who the fuck is it? And I walked through it in my living room and found homeless John on my couch. Now, on one hand, that's altruistic and you should all fucking love me for that. But on the other, once you've got a homeless man in your couch, very fucking hard to get him off it. Do you know what I mean? Just saying. But sometimes, just in order to escape all the idiocy that surrounds my life, I like to go on a little bit of a day trip. Do people in here like a day trip? You're all on a night out tonight. So I'll see. Yeah, everybody likes a day trip. But recently, I went paintballing. People here done that? Done a bit of the paintballing? Yeah, yeah. The people don't do it with enthusiasm because it's fucking brutal. Like, they take you to this actual woods and give you these, like, machine guns. Like, they're not actual machine guns, they're just filled with paint. It's not that fucking harsh. But, like, like, I got shot in all kinds of places, including the mouth. Which, like, I don't normally mind, but not with pink paint. Do you know what I mean? But yeah, I think, I think I'm going to go pretty soon, actually, because, yeah, that's how this works. Like, it's not just me. Like, other people, come on, you've probably sussed that out by now. But you will be dead nice. Like, because I don't, yeah, it's embarrassing back there for me. I've told you all about how I'm an idiot, and now I've got to go back and live that life so I can come and tell you more. But you've all been really nice. Thanks for laughing at me.